Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Subhanallah, it's just, it's, it's not stopping, is it, mashallah Anyway, six hours ago, the new t scientists um, uh, uh, have um, um, released an article about a mysterious SETI signal sends alien hunting telescopes scrambling um, um, Okay, you got the Herald, the Observer, CNN have covered it, Space.com have covered it, the New Scientist, but let's go to the New Scientist, okay, uh, and see what they've got to say about this, and let's read this together, inshallah. Close. Okay, I mean, before I even read this, because I haven't read this, I'm going to be reading this with you guys, actually, so it's not pre-rehearsed or anything like that. Um, uh, I'm... Uh, um, I have maintained and continue to maintain that there seems to be an agenda to push this extraterrestrial life and this narrative through the mainstream media and academia. Academia being, let's say, for instance, and one example of that would be um, the New Scientist, um, which is a very serious um, uh, platform where science is discussed. Anyway, let's let's see what they've got to say, because I mean, as this star gets closer, so has this um, this um, momentum. Uh, as it were, for pushing this um, extraterrestrial life and this narrative, and uh, I s genuinely believe, you know, and the loss of Montana knows best again um, from, you know, uh, numerous streams and um, research that um, uh, there, there is going to be an extraterrestrial contact that's staged. Staged, you know, I have to repeat this maybe three times that it's going to be staged and there's nothing real about it. And uh, I, I genuinely believe that even when Masih al-Dajjal, Lanat al uh, reveals himself, um, there's a very high likelihood that he will reveal himself as an extraterrestrial being who has visited us on several accounts in our history. Um, not just the three major religions and been the cause of um, creating those religions, but all the way to Adam and Mahawali Islam having created them from the homo erectus and hybridizing their DNA all the way up to all the known major religions whether they be part of the three major religions being notably Islam, Christianity and Judaism but then you've got Buddhism, uh, Hinduism and all the other isms that exist uh, uh, and all the other religions whether they be tribal like the Hopi tribes or the Sumerian stuff um, the claim will be that they were basically, as it were, the gods uh, and um, the ones who revealed these religions uh, to um, prophets. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best up until um, mankind was um, ready to accept the new, uh, the real truth. But this real truth is false. Again, let me reiterate false. Allah said it the third time. It's false. It's a lie. Uh, and uh, the lie is to basically do away with um, religions and I will go further and say I mean again this is from the research that they will introduce a religion of duality of like almost the yin and yang um, the um, negative and the positive the male and the female and the two opposite forces uh, and the uh, third eye which is um, uh, a very common thread in all these occultic religions as well as other religions uh, from Hinduism to Buddhism and for them it's the chakras but it's about the third eye opening that chakra and um, it seems like that will be the universal religion being pushed by the United Nations and um, uh, the Jalan uh, upon his arrival upon the Ummah and Allah SWT knows best but this is me um, postulating here you know so I mean don't take that as a uh, but this, this, um, uh, it, 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 this, this seriously seems to be some sort of leverage in this. So, I mean, it, it needs investigating, uh, and uh, there's a common thread in academia as well as um, media and everywhere else. You know that um, maybe you can basically see and uh, perhaps connect the dots, uh, or maybe perhaps not. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows best. Anyway, let's move on and read this. Mysterious SETI uh, signal sends alien hunting telescopes scrambling. Okay. Uh, and this is, by the way, today's date. It was posted six hours ago, 29th of August. Here you go, uh, 2016. Um, uh, uh, so maybe not today, but yesterday. But it says six hours anyway on uh, Google. Are you there, ET? 
Okay, a recent new news of a spike in radio signals and that could fit the profile of an intelligent extraterrestrial source has set the astronomers across the globe swinging their radio dishes in hopes of confirming the detection. Although so far they have all come back with empty empty handed, two observations will follow up on the tantalizing signal again tonight. The signal was detected on May 15, 2015 by a radio telescope operated by a Russian Academy Science of Science. By the Russian Academy of Science. It appeared to come from the star HD164595, a sun-like star located roughly 95 light years from Earth. The system has only one known planet, a warm Neptune, so-called because uh, it's a gaseous-like Neptune but orbits its star in only 40 days. But the star probably has other planets, perhaps rocky ones as well. And it continues. But again, this whole narrative on extraterrestrial life and now them having picked up a signal which seems to be a very intelligent signal and apparently, as I understand it, and this is just um, off the back of my memory, is that they basically deduce a signal from space being intelligent by the strength of that signal as well as I guess the um, signature of that single signal as well as because I mean there's certain uh, they call them uh, you know type 2 type 1 and type um, sorry type 1 type 2 and type 3 uh, races and um, uh, they, 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 they it's almost like a litmus test and through the strength of the signal and the signature of the signal they apparently think they can basically deduce what type of a civilization it is and how advanced it is. Uh, it, it's all humbug to be honest with you and again it's just nonsense for us to kind of um, uh, for them to spoon feed uh, to the Ummah. Um, but um, again they'll kind of get us lost in uh, these um, terms you know uh, trying to maybe you know um, uh, massage her you know intellect as it were uh, and draws into this nonsense, but to be honest with you, we have to have some level of firasa and, um, and, you know, we align ourselves with our fitra and uh, you'll see that there's something very, very eerie about all of this. Um, it's not just like, you know, Hollywood movies, you know, there's a reason for all of that. There are psychological operations, they call psyops. And again, it's just to entertain this dialogue for people who vibrate on a shallow level and then all the way up to the top, I guess. I've tried to join as many. It's only the elite who actually know what the agenda is and what the purpose is. And as far as I'm concerned, all of this has been set up for the arrival of the Jalnatul Dayali. And uh, it's been staged since 9-11 uh, around the incoming passage of this star, uh, which will then, so I mean, the nucleus of this whole plan, as it were, this plan that they're scheming, I believe, um, was centered around the incoming passage of this star, which began with 9-11. Uh, in three phases and we're, uh, we're basically the second phase I guess we're at the end of that and the third phase is about to um, be executed which will be um, the Malhama World War Three, um, the economic collapse um, and then the natural disasters have been equated for which will follow upon the arrival of this star and its celestial bodies uh, again, this star at least needs some sort of investigation because um, if it does cause the sort of natural disasters that we anticipate, then anyone living um, near the shorelines need to basically relocate. Uh, I'm not trying to cause any sort of panic, so please, you know, uh, you you can make, I guess, a educated decision and maybe start doing a little bit of research uh, and find out whether there's any sort of depth to uh, what I'm... Um, um, hypothesizing but um, yeah from uh, the shorelines as well as um, maybe certainly at least and this is just um, out of the hat but at least I think we should be um, 400 feet above uh, sea level wherever we are and maybe about 150 miles um, inland uh, from the shorelines although that doesn't go to say that we won't experience any sort of landslides further inland but at least um, we can um, protect ourselves from the foreseeable tsunamis that um, uh, the states are expecting and the drills that they're doing with Cascadia Rising, which is very interesting. And again, they haven't really talked about it in the mainstream media, but they spent billions of dollars on that particular 
military drill and it's the biggest of its kind any kind uh, military drill done in the United States of America in their history yet uh, again it hasn't been the mainstream media whilst um, a celebrity if they sneeze it makes the mainstream media so it's very interesting that it hasn't it certainly is news and I'm sure people would be interested in knowing that they have done such a drill but they haven't mentioned it again the only reason I can postulate is why they haven't is people will start connecting the dots as to why they would want to do such a draw and start looking to um, reasons why and investigate it further and maybe come to the conclusion that I have or maybe another one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best anyway jazakallah khairun wa hasan jaza for uh, listening again this these this article is um uh, in the uh, the blast and the uh, space.com cnm observer herald and I'm pretty sure other papers but metro you know, there's a lot of papers. Uh, I picked it up. Daily Mail picked it up in the UK 21 hours ago. Um, Space News have picked it up. So, I mean, again, it's that whole dialogue. You know, and lots of hunter and all the best. And you'll see this increase, by the way, as the star gets closer. Jazakallah um, khairan wa again for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.